time for Finders Keepers, the most exciting new program on television. Sit back for the next half hour and explore the interesting and exciting world of metal detecting. Finders Keepers is brought to you in part by White's Electronics, makers of a complete line of metal detectors for every metal detecting search. Hi, I'm Leo Ronza and welcome to Finders Keepers. Well, it looks like Desolation Row. Where are we, Leo? Uh, we're in downtown Riverside. We're in an old swimming area. Um, they've pulled out all kinds of coins out of here in the past. Kenny brought me out today to see if I could find something. Uh, we've been hunting here for a little while. And you've already found some coins, haven't you? I have. I found a few weeds and a buffalo. And Kenny, uh, you uh, have uh, found some stuff here, not just today, but some other days, and you brought a little bit to show later. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's get to hunting right here on Finders Keepers. Well, Leo, with this uh, empty pool here, what did this used to be? This used to be the old swimming hole where everybody used to come. Probably, we figure back in the 40s and 50s. All right. Now we're gonna see if we can find some more. It's just really tough. There's a lot of iron in the dirt. You gotta dig a lot of it back. So it's messing up with your signals, huh? Yeah. All right, well, let's get to hunting right here on Finders Keepers. Well, we've never done this place before, and Kenny's been pounding it with a few yeah, other people. Here. Oh, you got a target already? Target. All right. Well, I'm a little late, but uh, that's okay. They keep getting signals, so that's where it's at. Metal detectorist, this is what you want. An old lot like this, nice soft dirt. Who is getting a nice signal? Oh, here it is, silver dime. All right, Leo. It's, uh, 1957. <laughs> Our finders keepers. Well, Leo, that's a nice way to start the show. Hopefully, you can finish the show the same way. Yeah. Or better. Well, it hasn't been the local swimming hole for a long time, but uh, it's good for metal detectors like us. And as we mentioned, Kenny's with us today. He hasn't been with us for a while. He's the one that uh, turned Leo onto this lot, so they've been hammering it for a while, but they're still getting stuff, just like Menlo. And uh, hopefully he's got a good signal. Let's follow the action. Well, Kenny's getting a little signal. Uh, he's uh, whacking away here at the earth. What does it sound like? Probably another wheat back then. Oh, that'd be awesome. You're centering in on it. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's another wheat back penny. All right, what year? I got to get out my loop and see. <laughs> All I can see right now is a 19. Let's check this out a little closer with the camera. Well, you know, Kenny, you're right. You can't really see it, but it does look like it might be a three, so it might be a 1930-something. This has seen better days, but uh, good days for us detectorists, because uh, this is where you find old coins, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting another signal in the same area, so uh, we definitely want to check it out. Another, another wheat. All right. Well, really nice. 1954S. Another weedy right here at Finders Keepers 2. Yeah, lots of territory to hunt around here, and uh, this is just ideal for what we're looking for. Now Leo's getting another little signal. Hopefully something good, Leo. I can't get to it. The root's blocking it. Uh-oh. I guess you won't get to the root of the matter. Yeah, we're persevering here on Finders Keepers, and if we hear a little signal that's even close to what we want, we will go after it. Especially Leo will. I'm a little more uh, hesitant unless it's a really good signal. But I'm learning. Uh-oh, you got a big one, Leo. <laughs> Leo says it's iron. It's junk. junk. 